It's really nice to get some sunshine and warmer temperatures. I mean, we were 10 degrees plus warmer than, than yesterday. Here's a live look into Arlington as we look down in what we were calling yesterday the Rose Bowl, but of course uh, it is in Arlington AT&T Stadium. 48 degrees right now. Temperatures are starting to drop rather quickly now that we fall into evening. Real quick, 2020 in review, the 23rd hottest year on record, the 19th wettest year on record and those records go back 120 years so it was warm and wet in, in the big picture last year but this year well it started with this system again you can see over the midwest over missouri some snow going on with that low pressure system that was the second one to roll across the central plains of course the first one as we closed the year and got into new years it dropped that snow the over across Midland up into Lubbock. Some areas got as much as a foot of snow, and it got into our western counties, of course, as you've heard, but there's no snow in the forecast uh, this week. We have a few clouds rolling in overnight and some fog forming out to our western counties tomorrow morning, but otherwise just a cloud or two as a weak front comes across North Texas and dies out. So we'll get into the upper 50s tomorrow with an afternoon full of sunshine. Next two days, it gets even better on Monday. We're in the low 60s and a mostly sunny day. Our next chance of rain looks to be on Wednesday. This system again will go to up to our north, at least the low pressure system. We'll be able to drag a front through here. So it looks like by the time we get into Wednesday morning, could be some rain and a few thunderstorms. No severe weather expected. It will be a breezy day and windy behind it, but it should be clearing out as we close the day on Wednesday. Some wraparound clouds will be rain up in Oklahoma, but not around here. Just some cloud cover as we wake up on Thursday morning. You can see rainfall amounts, again, don't look so generous with this system. Maybe a half an inch in Paris across the Metroplex, maybe two-tenths of an inch of rain. That's the way it looks now, at least. We'll spend most of the week ahead with above normal temperatures, with Tuesday being the warmest day. Then behind that front, on Thursday and Friday, we start seeing these temperatures knock down. In fact, as we take a look ahead next week, there's a chance of below normal temperatures next week. But let's talk about the next seven days. It looks pretty good. Sunday, tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday. New Year's all days with a lot of sunshine and above normal temperatures. That chance of rain on Wednesday, I put it about 20%. So it doesn't look to be a big rain. The better rains will be in our eastern counties. And then the temperatures will be a little bit on the cooler side as we close the work week and get into the second weekend of 2021.